In the previous movie, we set up Verb to run through a VCA, an envelope, to cut off its tail. So we can go from a short tail to, if we want, a very long tail on the sound. I'm going to keep that long tail because in this movie, I want to explore the modulation control, which works a bit different than a normal reverb parameter. Indeed, I'm going to set this up so we have very little of the original sound. And we're focusing on the wet sound coming out of the reverb module. Now, as I mentioned in the first movie, this particular reverb module uses a trio of digital delays. This is an old technique to create a reverb effect. In this way, it's kind of using a tuned delay line to create a resonator, which is a popular technique these days in modular synthesis. In the verb module, changing the mod control changes the timing of those delay lines, which, depending on what notes you're playing, results in different harmonics being added and subtracted. I'm going to back off on the level of the verb a little bit, just to make sure we don't distort while doing these tests. I'm going to set up a drone, and then start playing around with the mod control. Listen to the results and look at the resulting harmonics in the spectrograph. I'll turn down the volume a little bit more. You see different harmonics being reinforced as I change the tuning of these delay lines. The way the tamper changes as you change the mod control does open up the possibility of using this module as an alternate sort of chorus effect or to otherwise make drones sound more interesting. Now it does not have any CV attenuators on those control voltage inputs. So I'm going to borrow an LFO from this module, but I'm going to run it through an attenuator so I can control just how deep the modulation effects are. You see why I like having mixers in my system, they come in very handy. There's a the modulation control. I'm going to set mod to its center setting initially because my LFO is bipolar. It has positive voltages and negative voltages. So it's going to add to and subtract from this initial setting. I'm going to hold my drone again and start increasing its depth. I'll turn it up a little faster so you can hear its effect and increase its depth a little bit, although it is a pretty subtle effect. And maybe we can use just a little bit more. We we'll can go ahead and tune it by changing the center of where that modulation is. There we go, maybe a little faster. Now we get up into chorus territory at those speeds. As I change what note I'm playing on the keyboard, different notes are emphasized because the resonant peaks are staying in the same area, but the original frequencies I'm playing that are going into verb are different. Bring some of the original sound back into the mix. Lower my cutoff a little bit. Maybe a slower Okay. With no modulation. With lots of modulation. And we're hearing a little bit of beating of the VCOs. really resonant on that low C, it boosts the signal into clipping again. I'd have to back off on my levels just to make sure I don't clip. Or play in a different range. Let's get more of a swelling sound going here. Let's 
So the fun thing about having effects modules inside a modular synth is you can start to treat them in non-standard ways and use them for alternate processings. For example, using a reverb unit as an interesting sort of ambient chorus.